Hi paper friends, I'm Helen Hebert and I want to tell you a little bit about my upcoming online class, Flexible Book Structures. What's a flexible book structure? Well, it's something that can be a book, a folding screen, a lantern, a wall or window hanging, and it's also flexible in that you could add more panels to make this a longer book or folding screen. In this six-week online class, we will explore innovative ways to create book pages as well as a variety of ways to connect those pages to each other. We'll start with strip books. Imagine how many ways you can connect strips of paper. Fan them, connect them, end-to-end, -end, shape the strips, and bring them into sculptural forms. Add text and imagery and discover multiple ways to connect strips of paper. Next, we'll create shaped pages and join them at the centerfolds in a unique structure I call the crisscross accordion. This can be displayed sculpturally, or you can flip through the pages like a more traditional book. The structure has additional flaps on each page spread that you can pull back to reveal another layer underneath. Bring your own content into your books, or enjoy exploring the structures as I show you a variety of techniques and models for inspiration. Use the pocket-like feature of envelopes to show off paper cut designs as you slip small sheets of decorative paper into the envelopes. Learn to construct a versatile paper hinge that allows your creation to be displayed as a lantern, folding screen, or wall hanging. Alter the hinge slightly to create a unique book form or turn it into a photo album. This might be the most unusual form to call a book, but there's a poem you can read as you walk around this 5-foot diameter inflatable called the text ball. We'll be making a much smaller version, but you'll develop the skills to make your own larger ball and we'll explore other shapes too, like the format of, of an egg. And the woven paper notebook is the most bookish structure, unless you decide to turn it into a lantern or a window hanging. I've adapted the double pamphlet stitch so that you can add a surprise element to the center of the book. Plus there's a fun paper hinge that provides a closure for this book. What will you put on your pages? In the 1640s, a German priest living in Rome developed the magic lantern, which cast shadows from glass slides onto a screen, a precursor to modern cinema. This shadow book, lantern, folding screen, works on the same principle as light casts shadows from a cut paper stencil onto a paper screen. The unique Japanese hinge allows this book form to be displayed in multiple ways. I'm putting together a paper pack that you can purchase when you register for the class. You can order this from me when you register. Purchase the supplies on your own or mix and match. Register by March 20th and receive a free copy of the 2019 12 months of paper calendar, which is filled with instructions for making 12 more paper projects. This class is set up so that it can be done on your own time at your own pace. You'll have access to the video lessons and printable tutorials indefinitely. So even if you can't participate in the online classroom, you'll still be able to create all of the projects. But I want to highly recommend the online experience. It is really fun to share what you are creating with other like-minded artists and former online students have built long-lasting relationships. In case you don't know me, I'm the author of several how-to books about paper crafts, paper making, and the annual 12 months of paper calendar. I've taught numerous workshops around the world and I'm delighted that my teaching experience and how-to projects, combined with the internet, allow me to share these unique paper projects with a wider audience. That's you! Take what you learn beyond this class as you add ideas about books and paper to your repertoire. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in class.